All right, we're back. So we had some issues. Sorry that the break took a little bit longer than planned, but um, that's okay. We're going to get into our second recipe, um, which is the buttermilk vanilla buttermilk cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. I can't speak right now. So I went ahead while we were on our break and finished our first recipe which was the cranberry bliss bars and I just spread the frosting that we made on top once they cooled and then uh, sprinkled the craisins and drizzled the white chocolate so now they have to cool um, even more before we can cut them and then they're stored in the refrigerator so uh, you guys can find that recipe that is recipe number four if you would like to see that and they turned out really well so we'll cut them when we finish our uh, cupcakes here so if you're just joining we had some problems obviously we are going to start our cupcakes. Uh, we have to whisk together the flour, salt, and baking soda. I went ahead and put the salt and baking soda. Sorry. Sorry about that. I just went ahead and threw the salt and baking soda in there. So then we need our two and three quarter cups of flour. So I've got one. And we'll do our second cup of flour. And I'm new at this, so I'm trying to figure out what's on where. So if uh, I get a little out of order, that's why. So there's cup two of the flour. And then we need a three quarter cup. Alrighty. So everything that needed to be whisked together for the flour is there. We'll get that out of the way and whisk it together, actually. So we need a whisk. Got a baby whisk. That's, I guess, just to get everything mixed up. So there's that. And our next step is going to be beat the butter and sugar on medium speed until light and fluffy about five minutes. Then add in vanilla and beat in the eggs one at a time. Okay. So... I've got two sticks of butter softened in here, and then we need two cups of sugar. There are never enough measuring cups. I have plenty, I just lose them. And I prefer the same ones over and over, so. One cup of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Two cups of sugar. Alright. So it says we're going to beat that until light and fluffy which is approximately five minutes. Locked in the bowl. Medium speed. So, we'll do five minutes just for fun. And, We'll turn our oven back on to 350. 
So how much vanilla? We need two teaspoons of vanilla and four eggs at room temperature. So I have the eggs because I wanted them to get to room temperature. And two teaspoons. That's already pretty light and fluffy, but we'll keep keep going. Why can't I find it? Teaspoon. So, is anybody doing anything exciting tonight? Nope, nothing exciting going on. Nothing exciting here in Indiana on a Sunday night. That's pretty light and fluffy. Ah! What? Let's check this out. Whoa, Granny. That was stupid. Didn't need the vanilla yet. But that's okay. Okay. Let's... Oh! Shoot! Almost spilled the vanilla again and again. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons. That was messy. All right. Now, beat in the eggs one at a time. One egg. And it says to scrape down the sides as needed, but always turn off your mixer. Before you do that, alrighty. Egg number two going in. Two eggs. It is two red and one horse open sleigh. So yeah, I'm really excited with how the first recipe four turned out. Cranberry Bliss Bars. Even though, like I said, I've never had like the real Starbucks version. But, there's the first time for everything. Let's try to scrape these sides again. For our last egg. Four eggs. Okay, so then we're going to go down to low and beat in one third of the flour mixture and then half of the buttermilk. That's interesting. Doing our last scrapage here. Okay, if it. Okay. So it says low. Make sure those eggs are all in there. Oven's ready. Let's drop it down. 
And we're gonna guess at a third of this flower. We'll go with it. Third of flour. And then follow that with half of the buttermilk on low. Yeah! Perfect. Half, half in. And then after that, we're going to scrape down the sides again. And add another third of the flour and the remaining buttermilk. Scraping sides, baby. Yeah! Alright, back on, oh, oh, gotta put the bowl up. Back on low. Another third. Whoops. Lost some that time. And the rest of the buttermilk. Perfect. Alright. gonna follow that again once we scrape the sides down with the rest of the flour got some on my paddle there so once again these could go in your Christmas treat tins or baskets or anything like that I think we're just gonna keep them pretty plain but add some Christmas sprinkles and good stuff like that last third why didn't I do that when the bowl is down oh well we're already in it Awesome. All right, I think we're ready for our last scrapage. Scrape it up. Get all that flour down in there and back on low and then we're ready to spoon it into the muffin pans it says don't over mix but I just wanted to make sure all that stuff from the sides got back on there so Just doing that to get some of that off of there. But... I always have issues with that. That looks perfect. I mean, if I knew what cupcake batter was supposed to look like, I would think that is it. Besides, like, from a box. Which I, I'm not hating. Because I love a good box mix. Alrighty. I don't think you're going to want that, cameraman. So, it's not like super runny. But it's just enough that we should be able to get it into the cups, okay. So, the cups have the liners already in. 
but it says to grease the pan part so that the cupcakes don't stick to it if they like get bigger so I'm just gonna spritz whoa I'm gonna blow the cups out <laughs> that was kind of fun. Okay. So we'll move our mixer out of the picture for a minute. And get our cupcakes here. I'm going to use this giant spoon. And we're filling them. <laughs> I guess I should check that. Filling almost to the top. So I'm going to put a fair amount in each one and then we'll go back and just make sure everything looks normal. Or at least pretty much the same. This will make 24 cupcakes. Which is a lot of cupcakes, but give them to friends. Everybody loves a good cupcake. They do. Not too good at this whole thing with the liners, but... Bloop! Bloop, bloop! Shit! Alright. Christmas every day, that would be amazing. Good Christmas song on my side. Bleep. Bleep. All right, so after we get these filled and in the oven, we're gonna have to make the frosting. Got a few that need a little more. We'll get them a little closer to the top as directed. This is swell time. A few more here. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. All right. I think we're going to try it as is. So, we'll put these puppies in the oven, 20 to 25 minutes, so until they are set, lightly golden, 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, have to make some frosting with it. Okay, so let us move on to the frosting in the bowl of a stand mixer. So 
So we're gonna need our mixer again. Cream cheese, butter, vanilla, and salt. So, let's see. That one's non-stick though. So that's non-stick. Hmm. We're just gonna use this bowl. I need to put the cupcake mixture in something else so that we can make our frosting. And then, as requested by the cameraman, we will cut our recipe number four, the cranberry bars that are cooling. Toys and goodies and slay. Whoa! Whoa! If you could hear what I hear. Do you hear what I hear? Alrighty. Cupcake batter transferring. Once again, I'm no pro, obviously. Just baking. Or cooking or baking. Trying out new recipes and getting Christmas gifts at the same time. Alright. Oh man. Got my towel wet. Well, so bad. Nobody's very chatty tonight. I always burn myself when I'm doing this. Our water gets super hot. Not a bad thing. Alright. Ready for some frosting action? Over here. <laughs> so we needed the cream cheese, which was a pound of cream cheese. Pounds of cream cheese. So I've got my cream cheese. Th these say at room temperature. So that is what we have done. Hmm. Where are my scissors? Just any. Alright, we'll resort to these. I probably have my other ones hidden from myself. Mm, maybe like a small cheese or something. Or breadsticks, I don't care. Deepy, deepy, deep. All right. Number two. Oh yeah, that's really soft. So butter, cream cheese. Oh, gotta get the butter then. Butter. Uh, 
So you guys should totally try these recipes because if I can do it, anyone can. Cream cheese, one and three quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract goes in with the butters and the salt. Back to the vanilla. One. Oh no, do I have a three quarter? I don't. We'll guess on the three quarter. Cool, cool. And a pinch of salt. Man, I hate it when people do that. Oh, you know what? I actually used salted butter instead of unsalted. So I think we're okay. Mix on low speed until combined, then increase to medium high and beat until aerated and light about two minutes. So, let's hook it up. Oh, I guess we need the uh, paddle attachment. Do do do. Lots of dishes involved. All right. Okay. Our attachment. And we're on. So low. And once it's combined, then we increase. Let's check our cupcakes to make sure no emergencies. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to medium high into light and aerated. Two minutes. Then we're going to add two cups of confectioner's sugar. Powdered sugar. <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks good. This is a cup. That is light and airy. Cool, cool. One. This is powdered sugar, aka confectioner sugar. Eh. Making a mess. Cup of that. And that one stays on low. Once all of that is mixed in, medium high, about one minute. So, we're getting there. The cameraman's impatient for a cranberry bar, as per the usual. Oh, 
go. Really gotta get better at that. Not really good at making a target there. Ugh. Hmm. I think that's about done. Let's just. Man, that's a lot of spatulas. Another spatula. I think I'm running low. Which is okay. Little scrapage for the last round. Medium high for a minute. And our cupcakes should be done shortly. But we'll have time to cut our bars now. That's a lot of pot of sugar. Smells cream cheesy. That's the way to get it. Alright, frosting complete. <laughs> oh, cameraman. There's a sample. We'll see how that turns out. So both of the frostings are a win. Even from the very particular frosting person. So that's a plus. Sometimes it's just like too sweet. Nothing but sugar. Which this does have a lot of sugar, but I guess the cream cheese and stuff helps that. Oh, the cupcakes look beautiful! Alright. The masterpiece. Let's run a little more water in there. So, back to recipe four for a moment while we wait for our cupcakes for five. The cranberry bliss bars. Oh, shoot. And it says to cut them, I think, five by three. Five by three, and then you go back and cut them in half diagonally so it makes like triangles, which must be the way that like Starbucks serves them. One, two, three, four, five. So one. Two, three, four, five. Well, we'll give it a shot. So, one. Two. Three. Four, five. Not very good with a knife, like I said. And then three, which is a little easier. Two. Whoops. Three, there's three. Perfect. So then the way I understand it, you'll cut them this way. 
So it'll give you a little triangles. Cameraman, would you be interested in a sample? If not, it's okay. Diagonal. Okay. Now remember these are skinny, but the cameraman is eating them anyway. Which, I mean, they really weren't that much different from any th other recipes I saw. Um, so I'm not sure... <laughs> JK, JK. I'm gonna have one soon, but not yet. You're good. Cameraman approves. So there's some mess, messy triangles. He doesn't want all of them cut in triangles, but um, well. So let's try one here. Mm. Yum! <laughs> they are very good. I think the frosting's kind of rich. But. <laughs> the cameraman thinks this frosting would be good on carrot cake. I've never made a carrot cake myself. I mean, I can shred up the carrots and all that, but maybe in the future, we will try. So, our cupcakes are just a few minutes from being done. We'll have to check these again with a toothpick. Make sure they come out clean so they're not doughy. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, we'll wipe the counter off. So, I mean, I'm gonna say it's been a pretty successful stream besides our technical difficulties. So, no disasters with the recipes. But we will make sure that we get these technical difficulties fixed for you. Alright, I can smell those cupcakes. Give the mixer a little detail there. <laughs> I am that person that opens the oven, even though I can see in there and there's light. Let us find a hot pad. So, I'm always welcoming tips or suggestions. If anybody saw anything you liked, saw anything you didn't like, let us know. We'll try to work on it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I really don't know. Follow me! That's all I know. Um, but yeah, I appreciate anybody that watches. Um... We're all in this together, learning new things, so can't say everything will be perfect, but we'll try to come up with some pretty simple recipes that everybody will like and don't take five hours to make, maybe? I can't do like five or six hours in the kitchen, guys. So, too much. Just washing a few things up while those cupcakes are about to beep. Beep! I'm good, I'm good. Alright. Got those spatulas clean just in case we need a 
spare, they will be ready. Okay. Hot pen! Oh, heck yeah! Heck yeah! Look at those bad boys! <laughs> they look amazing! So let's check them. It's our toothpicky. It's clean! That means we're good! <laughs> so, before we can ice them, they're supposed to cool. And we've got our icing ready. So, is anybody out there? I'm just chilling by myself. It's all good. <laughs> okay, so. Once these cool, we'll ice them, and then I will have to reuse the same pan so to make the other 12. So I won't make anyone wait for that. But um, so just a quick recap: cranberry bliss bars, recipe four, recipe five, buttermilk cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. And we'll put some icing on those, add some sprinkles so everybody can see our finished product. And other than that, um, we're going to work on some of our sound issues. Maybe we were dropping some frames, I think I'm being told. So we'll work on that before next stream, um, and we'll see you next weekend. So hopefully that's enough time for us to resolve those issues. I'm thinking some holiday sprinkles, which I have all different kinds. But like, I don't really like those little beady ones. Can you tell what those are? I don't like the beady ones. There's like sugary ones, like the little chompers, <laughs> and then some other regular sprinkles. I think I like those better. Sprinkle some in my hands. So like little, I don't know, they're flat. They're not round like the other ones. Not mean. Not mean. So, it says when we ice these, um, Swirl the frosting lavishly over the top. Best enjoyed fresh. Store in an airtight container in the refrigerator and bring to room temperature before serving. So if you don't eat them all while they're fresh, then you're probably going to want to refrigerate them. Like they say. I really want to ice these because like they're so pretty. I think it's okay. We'll we'll ice a couple and see. Lavishly, I'm doing this very lavishly. Okay, so lavishly. Yeah, they're still a little warm because it's like sliding off. So, we'll have to wait on that. What sprinkles should we give the cameraman? Let's give him gold. some of those I was talking about. Oh, you want, he wants gold. Goldy. Gold it is. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I was going to say, can I hold it up? Had a little icing slippage there too. So wait till they're cool to ice them. As we will. Oh. 
There you go. Perfect. The tip is that you could put that on cinnamon buns. Which, you know, I've never really made cinnamon rolls. Uh oh. He's dropping the icing over there. Paper towel, please. Paper towel. The holiday season. That's brand new pants. Yeah. Anywho. So yeah, don't get in a hurry and ice these babies. Don't believe you want to do that. But the icing has been tested and approved by the pickiest of frosting tasters. Taste test! So it's getting super close to Christmas and we haven't ordered our stuff. Have to get my, my gifts done after we get done with this. Niece and nephews, parents, you know, the whole family, so. A little behind on the Christmas shopping there. Which isn't unusual for us, so that's okay. Yeah, they're cooling off. As soon as I get done with this, we can ice these bad boys. Okay. Hey, it's okay, bud. So the tip here is don't leave your clothes out after you shop. Because the cameraman might get some ice on them. But it's okay. I'm pretty sure we've handled worse, so... Like one time, <laughs> when we were traveling, and, or maybe he was just traveling, but anyway, he had this piece of candy, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of a Chunky, but I had never heard of a Chunky. So he has this Chunky bar or whatever, and then he's like, and then he's like, tells me that he couldn't find it, and he didn't know where he left it, if he left it at home. Well, long story short, come to find out, he had it, but he had, like, been sitting on it. So his pants totally looked like, you know, he pooped himself because he had a chunky melted on his butt. So, I mean, don't lose your candy because it might end up on your butt, on your pants. So, yeah, it's always entertaining. Okay. Let us. I have these things. Like, yeah. Okay. Get my knife to lavishly ice it. So lavish. Oh, yeah. So I think if I could get it even. There we go. Perfect. I mean, it's not perfect. Like, I'm not on, like, a crazy competitive show, but they look homemade. That's got to count for something. Lavishly icing. Sorry, I'm not very lavish. Don't 
So the key is not a lot of icing. Just a little layer, which is good. You don't want to be over icing. Cool, cool. Well, um, that's what I'm wondering. It doesn't say to pipe this on, but you may just put it in a Ziploc bag and pipe a little circle out because it's really, I mean, it's spreadable, but yeah, totally try to maybe pipe this. Let's give it a shot. We got a minute. And we got a glass. Boop. Let's just slap a big old thing of icing in here. Much better. Get it down in your corner there. Snip off as much as you like. I think I'll make it pretty small. Kinda small. Would you look at that? That's some lavish icing. That's lavish. Need some, some skills. Let's try again. Look at that! That one looks like dog do. <laughs> but these look pretty good. Good idea, cameraman. Alright, let's fix these. I don't think they can be fixed, I don't think. <laughs> okay, so look at these bad boys. Those look amazing. Now, we need... Keep to yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. Those are so cheery. Those deserve some flair too, let's be honest. Flare it up. I mean, this. There we go. Hooked it up. Yeah, I think I'll do some gold and silver on the other ones, so. So you tried one, you think they're good, huh? Yeah. Try one you think. Let's try one of these damaged ones. Okay. Well, that's good. At least it actually peels. I promise I've made cupcakes before that I couldn't get out of the wrapper. Look at that! Oh, I got you on the top here. Just look at your face. I'm sweating because of the oven. Tall cam. He's got me all jacked up, but here's this cupcake. Mmm! <laughs> it does kind of taste buttermilky. Yeah, side view. Look at that ass. <laughs> okay, guys, so I think that concludes our stream for the night. I've got another pan of cupcakes to make, but you've already watched me do that, so I won't bore you. But if you came out tonight, thanks for listening, thanks for following, thanks for watching, and we'll be back next weekend. Um, we'll work on some of our issues and Hopefully everything will go gravy and smooth and, you know, on down the road. So, anything else I need to cover? I didn't think so. So, Merry recipe Christmas. Happy Holidays. This was recipe for the Cranberry Bliss Bars. Recipe 5, the Buttermilk Cupcakes, which are good. So, 
Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here.